What's up, YouTube? It's me, your girl, Monica, and I'm coming to you with another video. Today is Thursday, and we're going to do Have and a Half Nuts. Um, this is episode, season six, episode three. Let's get into it. First of all, for those of you new, welcome. For those of you returning, welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome. I welcome you. Um, let's start off. I'm just going to talk about what's sticking out to me. For those of you new, those returning, thank you for watching my video. Anyways, let's get into it. First of all, first off, Candace is in a bar doing her one to a guy look like he's a cop, comes over to her, she clocks him, simple. Plain as day. Now you know Candace. Candace is Candace. And Candace is Candace. You know, Candace gonna peep the scene because that's what Candace do. Candace peep the scene because that's what Candace do. Another thing, too, uh, you know, all that sticks out to me is Jeffrey in the jail trying to get to his dad. The DA comes in and questions him. That stood out to me. Then you got Justin and Wyatt going at it, which I thought that was weird. But what stood out for me the most, the scene with Jeffrey and Wyatt, yeah. Justin is crazy than a bed bug. Justin is crazy than a bed bug. Do you understand me? Justin is crazy. Then a bed bug gonna tell Wyatt stop calling Jeffrey's phone, else I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? Stop calling his phone, else I'm gonna beat you up. Hmm, kind of interesting, kind of interesting, isn't it, guys? Um, what else? Then we got Melissa going crazy. Falling into Veronica's hands. Melissa just losing her rabbit everlasting mind. But Veronica will do that to people. Veronica is a special kind of special. Believe it or not. A special a special type of special. What else stood out? What else checking my Justin Wyatt. They went, um, Mrs. Cryer meets up with the handyman trying to hook, uh, old girl up, which I thought that was weird. Candace and her brother, Candace and her mom go over to the hotel. Like I said, this ain't in order. This is just what's on the top of my head and what I talk about. You know, they go over to the, the hotel to show Candace the note that the, her son, you know, wrote before he, uh, you know, died and whatever. And that was sad. They always get into it. They always get into it. Um, They always get into it. But, uh. Then all of a sudden, there's a knock on the door. Let me rewind. Candace meets this guy down at the bar at the beginning and, you know, hooking up, you know, doing her little prostitute thing. So back to the mom, brother, and Candace. They in Candace's room. They all talking, arguing, whatever the case may be. Talking, arguing, whatever the case may be, knock on the door. Knock on the door. It's her little, it's her little date or whatever. She's supposed to be making this money. Other than that, you know, they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Come to find out, old oh boy is Candace's father, and he goes off. I get this whole episode a B. Just because of the ending, you know, he's your father. 
so I would like to know where this take it. Um, it was a it was an okay episode. It was it stood out to me. Melissa losing her mind. Veronica torturing Melissa. You know, Veronica torturing everybody. You know, David going to see about his son. Justin is crazy. I mean, it, it, it's 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 a good show. So if you like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Again, like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all guys in the next video. And um, there should be a live video coming up soon later on today. So uh, watch out for that. And I will talk to you guys later.